Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunamis Lure Company. So glad to see you and I'm so happy to be out on the ice. Welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. It's been relatively warm. We haven't had safe ice, but we got safe ice now and I'm out here with the boatless angler. And today folks, we are gonna do something that I haven't done in years. And that is fish for smelts. Now, these are not big game fish. These are small fish. If you take a look in here, they're just little guys. Okay, but I will tell you this, they are nothing short of delicious to eat. And I have got a video catching smelts from years ago. You'll see me with the beard. Uh, I'll put a link in the description here for you. You can check it out because in that particular video, we give a ton of tips for using bait. I think you'll like it. And I also have another video on how to clean and cook smelts. So uh, I'll put a link there for you too, because that's pretty good. And Antonio looks like he's on to a fish. Or you missed them. I lost them. You lost them. Yeah. Okay. So um, you're using. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just using. I've got a little sting nose on, uh, size one sixteenth ounce, and I've tipped it with a little piece of plastic just to have a little attractor on there for these smelts because they will come and attack. And there you go. Tonyo, pick one I'm up. using the one eighth sting nose. You got the one eighth. Yeah. The one sixteenth ounce. I got also a bait on top, just to get that extra. <laughs> <laughs> you, put a, you put a hook on top, why yeah. not? Extra head. Why not? So I've just got a straight sting nose on the bottom. Antonio's got one or two hooks above? Two. So he's got a sting nose and two hooks. So we're gonna work these close to the bottom right now, but the smelts, they also come up high as well. So, and oh, there we go. And all we're doing is just jigging, just jigging and letting them Letting them attack. Oh, perfect. He came off. Great. So the thing is with the 1 16th ounce, it takes a little longer to get down to the bottom. But if they were suspended, it will be handy because you could actually even watch them in the hole uh, as you're fishing. And, and that is a lot of fun too. So you're on, Antonio? Yep. Nice. This one took the bait. He took the bait? Yep. Well, that's actually a good system that you got there with the sting nose and the hooks above. So you have basically more opportunity to catch more fish. So the sting nose gets you down there. It's also a bait. And then you have more baits on top. So that's that's a great technique as well. And, and I know what Antonio likes about that. He can catch two or three at a time when there's a lot of schools around. So, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm just happy to be out. And hopefully we can get into some more of these smelts. Oh, Antonio, you're on? Yeah, this one smashed the sting nose. He hammered it, did he? Yeah, I don't even have it tipped. You said yours is tipped? I tipped mine with a little piece of uh, plastic as an extra attractor. Oh, yeah. So yours is just plain as is. Yeah, mine's the 1 8th, so it's a little bigger than yours, and no, no tipped. It's not tipped. Okay. Well, and it's good that you're doing something different than I am, right? Yeah, I'm catching fish. <laughs> <laughs> So, there you go. <laughs> so, oh, I just, oh, I just, oh, I just lost them. I, I, I had thoughts about putting my hand in the hole to grab them, but I thought twice. But uh, they're aggressive. These fish are really aggressive. That's a nice thing, nose smelt yeah, there. That's a bigger, bigger one. one. They're hammering it, eh? Yeah, I mean, if you can get it down there, they, they will attack it, right? So if they if they see the bait, oh, I just missed them. If they see the bait, they're gonna attack it. And smelts are very, they're a very, very aggressive fish. Very aggressive. Now I've got the one sixteenth ounce, so it's taking longer to get down there, and it's a little bit, but it's smaller for these smelts. So the advantage, Antonio, with the one eighth ounce, it gets down there quicker. You could jig it quicker and closer to the bottom. Uh, hard to tell when I'm on the bottom here. Uh, I think that's bottom right there. Okay, but I'm telling you, they might not be big fish, but they are fun to catch. And you can see them when they hit. Antonio's just hot over there. They can see them when they hit. <laughs> yeah, I think it has to do with the weight. Like you said, it's taking you longer to get down, right? Well, I don't know if I'm on bottom or not. Hard to tell with that 1 16th ounce. 1 16th ounce is good if you're fishing shallower. Let's see if I put a little more line down. Let's see what happens here. Give a jig. A jig. Could you, you, there we go. 
Yeah, if you're not on, they're close to the bottom, so you got to be on to the bottom, and uh, and you'll get into these fish. But you know, you ever see the smelts? That's a great like. That's what that's what the walleye are feeding on, right? And walleye and uh, the salmon love smelts. All the game fish they love smelts. The bass will eat smelts, but you know what? So will we eat smelts? And I tell you, they are nothing short of delicious. Look at that. <laughs> Sting nose and bait. See, that's the key there, right? Eh? You got the sting nose, but you also got the bait. So that's what you want, right? Yep. Opportunity to catch more than one. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, uh, Antonio was doing pretty good with the the one eighth ounce. So what I did is I took off my little one sixteenth, as you can see here, and I put on the one eighth. I just upsized a bit, and the one eighth is just a little bit bigger than the one sixteenth but it allows me to get to the bottom a little bit quicker as Antonio was doing and I can tell when I'm on bottom a little bit easier so if I was fishing a little more suspended the 1 16th would have been no problem or if I was fishing a little shallower but I'm thinking the 1 8th and it's not it's obviously not too big for these smelts because they're uh, they're attacking it they're really really aggressive these smelts <laughs> they really are and I tell you if you want to get youngsters hooked on fishing you can get into some pan fish like this you could really have a lot of fun okay so let's get that right back to the bottom of the end any hits antonio yeah i'm getting a few you getting some hits yeah it slowed down a little i think but oh just missed one. Oh, there we go there we go they seem to be on like literally right on the bottom and uh the smelts a lot of times they'll come right up and you'll see them right up under the surface right up under the ice and they talk about fun and I mentioned youngsters you get some youngsters and they could see them hitting just under the ice that is a lot of fun okay but for right now it's right on the bottom and just jig and pop oh oh that was actually an aggressive aggressive bite <laughs> that was pretty <laughs> you can see your your you can see your line your line will actually twitch or suddenly stop when they aggressively hit and the other thing you could do is change your jigging style so let me just make sure I'm on bottom what I like to do instead of just jigging up and down you can also just twitch it oops that was a hook set there but just a twitch and down twitch and down twitch and down so you can you can twitch it just a bit or you can lift and jig like Antonio just did <laughs> one way or another right but different different styles so sometimes they're more aggressive you can lift it lift it up high let it go down other times they're not so not so aggressive I just missed one and you can just uh, twitch it and see if you can trigger a bite we got a double <laughs> oh I missed I missed mine he just came off yeah I got mine okay so what happens too out here the, the eyes freeze up you get a little bit of water buildup on the uh, rod guides and uh, they freeze up on you because it is, believe it or not, cold today. The saving grace is it's not windy. So let's get, oh, I missed one. That was aggressive, aggressive hit. So they're not subtle. They're not, they're, they're actually very, very aggressive today, which is nice. So let's see if I can entice another, oh, another one into biting. Yeah, that upsizing to the one eighth. They're not afraid of that one eighth ounce. That's for sure. There we go. They're just attacking it. They're just <laughs> oh, okay. And I tell you, when it comes to smelts, honestly, the smaller the better. Because what we do with those, well, you can see in the video. I'll, I'll link it, link here for you. But we fry them up, and and honestly, it's like they're like little crispy French fries. <laughs> and they fry up nicely and they're really 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 good eating but at the end of the day you know when it comes to ice fishing it's all about in the middle of the winter you've been in the house for a while and what an opportunity it is to get out get out of the house go get some fresh air right go get some fresh air and a little bit of exercise and uh, and have some fun catching some fish and you know what even if you don't catch fish just being out here getting the day of fresh air and sunshine 
spending some time with friends and family, packing a lunch, and just making a nice day outdoors. That's really what it's all about. Catching fish, always a bonus. And you know what, folks? It looks like we're gonna have our, our fill of uh, smelts today and have some fun uh, while we're out here. But you know, if you get an opportunity, you should really give ice fishing a try. It's a lot of fun, and like I say, it's not just about the ice fishing, it's about enjoying the day and enjoying the winters as well. I want to thank you ever so much for joining us on today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. We have got all day ahead of us and we're going to have some fun, Antonio and I, catching smelts. So glad you can join us and until next time, good luck and good fishing. You know what, this is a lot of fun, eh, Antonio? Great. Just working these baits on the bottom, aggressively working them. Oh, oh, I just missed a good bite. It's a good aggressive bite. See if I can get another one here. <laughs> this is just oh, I missed it again. Oh.